When you think about Christianity in America, particularly political Christianity in America, I wouldn't blame you if you thought about conservative Christianity because at least for the past, I'd say 30 years, that's the sort of Christianity that we see that is dramatically and very quickly changing. Now, uh, just to jump ahead, one in five Americans now identify as religious progressives. Now you might think, well, you know, most Christian, most Americans are Christians, you know, some percentage of them are going to be progressive, some are going to be conservative. Maybe that's just normal. But let's look at a, a couple of different, uh, a couple of different age groups. So if you jump to the oldest Americans that are generally polled on things like Christianity, from 66 to 88, only 12% are religious progressives, 47% are religious conservatives. So apparently this is not a trend that's long established. If you look at old school Americans, literally old Americans, almost four times as many are religious conservatives instead of religious progressives. Now granted, this is not broken down by religion, but it's America, the vast majority of them are conservative, or, or uh, Christians, I should say. So 47% religious conservatives for that old group. Now let's look at 18 to 33, dramatically different results. 23% religious progressives, just 17% religious conservatives. So if you look at the oldest demographic, you look at the youngest demographic, far less than half are now identifying as religious conservatives. Now look, there are a lot of reasons that this could be. I mean, the, the sorts of issues that drive people to associate with different churches changes over time. Um, America in general, its culture has changed, society has changed. So I don't have a good explanation for exactly why this is going on, but that's a pretty dramatic change in just a couple of decades. Um, now, maybe you could counter that by saying that some of these people who, 18 to 33, are religious progressives could later on go on to be conservatives, and that is entirely possible. Some probably will, but these are dramatic shifts here, and I can only speculate about what that will mean for American politics long term. The, uh, uh, the Republican Party, in particular, depends on a couple of things to win elections. It depends on um, generally white males and some white females with, who have, let's say, racially conservative views to vote for the Republican candidates, and it expects the Christians to be able to, to rally to vote for Republicans. And so over the past few decades, the, the GOP has won the, va the lion's share of those votes. Democrats to some extent, but they're, like historically, they've been relying on the religious progressives. If Christians in general are changing over in droves from religious conservatism to religious progressivism, I don't know exactly where the GOP is going to turn in a couple of elections. God forbid, in their, for their sake, if Hispanics ever get to vote in large numbers and the Christians are turning into progressives who are more likely to vote for Democrats, what the hell are they supposed to do in a couple of elections? Perhaps evolve, which is ironic since they don't believe in evolution.